Trivia Hello everyone, uh, this is another reaction of the Movie Trivia Showdown. This one's between Mark Yodi Riley and Classy Clark Wolf. Um, I'm not really too bothered who wins, however I'm a big Mark Riley fan, so I'll probably give the edge, but if Clark Wolf wins, that's fine, because I like both of them. I like the Water of Steel, I like their camaraderie, so I hope it's going to be a good match, and they're about to do the entrances now, so you can watch my reaction as we go along. And again, apologies, I don't have the technology to put the screen cap here, so you can, you can see what I can see. Again, Clark Wolf looking as classy as ever. Almost like a, almost like Maggie Gyllenhaal in Secretary. Hope, hope that doesn't, uh, hope that doesn't mean uh, something in, in the future. It's like disco. Where's John Travolta when you need it? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at this. Goodness me. Oh, look at him go. Oh. Oh hello, what's going on here? Oh, very good, very good. It's all about the walls of steel. Oh, it's a Star Wars just Star Wars disco. I dance along at the most cardiac actions tonight. You look as as sweaty as Bibiani did throwing candy at you. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the showdown. As much as I love Mark Ellis, these two are really good together. The competitors will get eight questions, each worth one point apiece. Fifteen seconds to answer each question. They have to write. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be supporting Yodi. Yodi, Yodi, Yodi. And also answer it at the same time. And again, I'll be answering along to show you my superior movie knowledge. If it gets overturned, the challenge will stay. They can keep their challenge for another. I'll still put my uh, name the up there. I the think GTE I should rule. be in the showdown. They can, they can ask to repeat I'm competitive enough. Three times Just watch me on this. I'll, I'll and crash and burn now. In the first round, if somebody answers <laughs> eight questions correctly, they will be given a bonus question that will be worth two points, very much like bowling can. I'm not good at that either. All right, here we go. <laughs> Clark Wolf, are God you ready? bless you, Ken. Sir? Mark Riley, are you ready? I am ready, so sir. Let's get ready to schmodown! Here we go! Yeah, he's getting. He's, yeah. Starting with animated. That's becoming a regular thing yes. now. Category is animated. Let's First get, question In which get, Disney get, film will you find Princess Aurora? Sleeping Beauty. I don't go out with many people. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. I have. Five, four, three, Two, one. Aurora. Aurora. Sleeping Beauty? Correct for one point, Clark Wolf. Sleeping Beauty. One, one. Look at that, Christian. Right. See? Captain Finally, some people with some Spencer. decent animated knowledge. What is the name of the sequel to 2009's Sherlock Holmes? Game of Shadows. Game of Shadows. How's that water? Is that water? I don't think it is. Have you ever seen an adult man use a sippy cup? Is there vodka in that sippy cup? I wish. Five, four, three, two, one, Sherlock Holmes, Full Throttle. Oh, correct. I green like that. Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows? That's correct. Full Throttle. No, definitely not. Category of comedy. Comedy question three. Who plays Richard Hoover, the father of pageant contestant Olive in Little Sunshine? Did you see that one? What does that sound? That's a good cat in the background. Oh, No, it's just Jessica Cooper. Two, one. Yeah, I think it's Greg Wolf. Kinnear. Greg Kinnear. Correct. Mark Riley. Greg Kinnear. Wow, yeah. Riley. On oh, fire here. Two. Mark Wolf. We're ready to film, but Mr. Sunshine. All right, next category of drama. Who plays small town detective Marge Gunderson in the 1996 film? Uh, I've only seen it once, but I'm assuming it's Francis McDormand. You shouldn't say that on air. I'm fine. Fine. Four, three, two, one. Mark Riley. Oh, I 
think I'm going to bar Francis McDormand. That's correct. We're on point. Clark Wolf. Francis McDormand, you betcha. Look at that. You betcha. You betcha. Toe to toe. Toe to toe. All right. Category for the question five is family. Emil Hirsch's character suits up for a high octane adventure with mechanic Sparky and girlfriend Tracy in which film? Speed Racer. Go, Speed Racer. Go, Speed Racer. Go, Speed Racer. Go. What film? Repeat the question, please. Once again, the Wachowskis misunderstood. Speed Racer is a great film. Mechanic Sparky and girlfriend Trixie. Trixie. Cool Beats. Played by the lovely Christina Ricci. Sparky is a... Oh, I can't even play Sparky. Pops was a John Goodman. Yeah. Ted Turner. Hey! Ted Turner. All right, so this tie game here. Go, Speed Racer. All right, here we go. Go, Speed Racer. Go. Fantasy sci-fi. Name one of the two male leads in 2015's Ex Machina. Oscar Isaac and Donald Gleeson. One of the two male leads in 2015's Ex Machina. That dance scene in Ex Machina is so cool. It's a potential of a nightmare. Yeah. Three, two, one. Riley. Oscar Isaac. Correct. Clark. Oh, I thought you meant a character name, so I wrote Ryan, which was also a guess. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I did not. That's okay. That's all right. All right. Oh. Here we go. Category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Bridget Fonda gets creeped out by a terrorizing roommate, Jennifer Jason Lee, in what? 1992. See, horror. I, I couldn't do well in horror. <laughs> this sounds like it. Jennifer what Jason Lee. happened to you in your pants? Uh, absolutely. I was roommates with Jennifer Jason That's Lee. That's right. <laughs> Five, four, three, no. two, and. Hot, the horror is a big weakness of mine. Correct for one point, Mark. Single white female. Look at this. No. What a match. What a Never match. heard of it. Never heard of it. I mean, I've, I've seen it. I've seen enough horror to know what was going on. Who directed the Stephen King adaptation of A Killer Automobile for Steam? Not a clue. Why is that? He makes money. Five, four, three, no. two. One pen down, right? And what do you got? Uh, a bunch of squiggle lines. Uh, incorrect. If I know my partner, he's going to be so bummed. Yep. Yeah. John yeah. Carpenter, 6-6. Six, six. We have a tie game here wow. at the Pretty end of shit. round wow. one. Even the champion, Mark, uh, John Rogan, yeah. is showing yeah. respect on that. Yeah, man. he's got to be wondering. This is this is Decent scoring, 6-6. Six, six. He's got to be ready. He knows it. All right, here we go. Round number two. Here's how it works. The contestants will spin the wheel. Uh, the category, they do not the like wheel. Spin once the wheel. again. Each question worth two I remember it being piece, really bad for Clark Wolf at times. Worth one so, point a piece. You can steal from your opponent in this round. Mark Riley, it is a tie game. You are the favorite. Would you like to go first or second? I'm going to go first. Give it a good spin, please. And I love this wheel. Champion spin. It looks so good. Yeah. Good spin. Good, good spin. spin. Look at it go. Uh, oh, movie we taglines. No, I would go for movie taglines. Movie taglines is tough. Spin again. Spin again. I'll stay. Oh! Wow. Oh my goodness. Let's just do this. Wow, was it? He's going, fuck it, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Wow. Name the movie that carried the tagline Vampires, not interviews. Now, you would immediately go with interview with, with a vampire, but no, this sounds like it's. This sounds, this sounds like, it sounds like a spoof. I'm going to kill myself. Three. Please don't. It met, met multiple choice. Is it A, from Dusk Till Dawn? Oh, B, okay. Twilight? C, 30 Days of Night? Okay, I'm going to go then from Dusk Till Dawn then. Uh, a? Correct for one yeah. point. Yeah. Makes sense. Thank right. Makes sense. All right, what 1999 film had the tagline, the show has been canceled, but the adventure is just beginning? Galaxy Plus. Correct for two points. Oh, wow. Big one. That was big. Wow. I would do all the tagline. had the tagline, the thing that won't die in the nightmare that won't end. Must be a nightmare on, a, a nightmare on, on Elm Street one. Freddy's Revenge, I guess. I mean, I think Five. Four. Multiple choice. Is it A, Alien? B, oh, okay. Friday the 13th. C, The Terminator. D, I'll go Friday the 13th then. The thing. 
Strange tagline. And movie taglines. What stop motion animated film had the tagline Escape or Die Frying? Paranorman? This one's hard. Five. Don't take this if you Four. Die Three. What's which one? Is it A. Sean the Sheep? B. Chicken Run? Oh, C, um, Chicken Run. B, yeah, it's Chicken Run. run. Chicken run? Yeah. Correct for one point. Yeah. All Makes right, sense. So look, he, he stayed alive in that See, round. See, I would do so bad at taglines. Not a bad round, but sometimes if you're not perfect, that can come back to bite you. All right, Clark Wolf, you are up. Big spin. Clark's looking for horror. You know she is. Big spin. She, she is. Definitely. So she has other strengths, though. Some of her other strengths are on the board. 80s movies. 80s. 80s movies. Uh, you know, I'm a... Oof. This could go either way, but I'm going to... Ooh. Risky, risky, there risky. There's the big spin. There it is, and it's landing on. Oh, no! I think that's worse. Yeah! Oh, I would hate. Again, rom coms is a weakness of mine. Four questions. First one in. Which sorority was L. Woods from, legally blonde president of? A. Phi Lambda? B. Delta Nu, Kappa C, Kappa Delta, Kappa Kappa Delta, D, Zeta, Alpha, Zeta. Kappa Kappa Delta sounds familiar. Correct. Delta Nu? Correct. Correct. Wow. Yes. Yeah, this will bum them out. But second question. In which movie does Hugh Grant declare love for Andy McDowell? Oh, uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Yes. There you go. Second and two points. Two yes. points there. One of the few rom coms that I really like. Question three, which M&Ms are Mary's favorite in The Wedding Planner? Wow, what a question. Who knows, Clark Paris? Mary's favorite. Ah! classy. Still classy. A, the blue ones. B, the brown ones. C, the yellow ones. D, the orange. I love that each option has to be the something ones, rather than just the color. Uh, A. Blue one's incorrect. Oh, yeah, that's going to be yellow? Incorrect. Alright, last question, brown ones. Brown <laughs> and we still won't find out. Brown. Final question, Clark. Who plays the older Jenna in the 2004 movie 13 going on 30? <laughs> Jennifer Garner. That's great. Oh, I, I haven't seen it. One that I know and love. 11, 10, going into round number three. It is very close. Both well, it's still tight. It's still tight. The they were looking for, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Alright. So, round Not impressive, like but they still got points on the board. Have so. Three categories to choose from between numbers 1 and 25. They will range in scale from 2 points, 3 points, and 5 points. Mark Riley, you are in the lead. Please choose three numbers between 1 and 25. Come on, Yodi. Come on. 7, 9, 14. Come on. 7, 9, 14. Clark Wolf. 4, 12, and 19. 4, 12, and 19. Clark Wolf, you are down by one point. You will be going first. You chose category four in the category of dramas. What company did oh, um, work FedEx in Castaway? Yes. FedEx. Oh no! Oh, that's a big that. one. Your three pointer is now on the board in the category of Oscar movies. Jean Dujardin played the artist. George Valentin in which best picture? The movie? artist, the artist. Come on. Come on. The artist. Yes. Correct for three right. points. All right, so there we go. So now it goes back to Mark Riley, who gets his two pointer in order to try to tie the game here. Absolutely. Uh, you picked for your two point question mark number seven. That is the category of Angelina Jolie. Oh, wow. <laughs> two point <-hole laughs> question. <laughs> what is the name of the sequel to Laura Croft? Uh, Cradle of Life. Cradle of Life. Five. Come on, Yuri. Come on! Two. Focus Secrets. That's Cradle. National Treasure. Right. Yeah, that's Cradle. So now Mark Riley has a chance to go. Focus Secrets is National Treasure. Three pointer. Three pointer. 
And Mark, you picked uh, number nine for your three-point question. That's Disney. Disney. Yeah. Upon which birthday does the curse of sleep? Oh, another Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Sixteenth um, birthday. Sixteen. That's correct. Yeah. All right. All right. So now it comes out. Mark Wolf. Clark Wolf now has her five pointer in order to go back in the lead here. Category nineteen. Clark Wolf, you picked. Sports movies. Ugh, that's not good for her, but it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good, right. good for Makuga. I think I can do well in sports movies. In oh, Hoosiers. except I haven't seen Hoosiers. Norman Dale's past <laughs> no. includes his collegiate coaching career and what regrettable incident? Guess, go on. Uh, I would guess he, th- he threw a game. That's a bit too specific. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Dioni Ryan. Bit of a hollow victory, yeah. Yeah, Clark Wolf had a, had a tough one there. Sport movie was a full strength, but man, what a battle. That went down and almost went right back to Mark Riley. What a battle. That's definitely what we thought it was going to be. With Mark Riley now going once again to face, face John, the outlaw rope. Roka is screaming in the audience. He's being asked to leave by our chihuahua, who is our security. Uh, this is a, Christian. I'm feeling an emotional toll. Uh, 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 um, d- decent match. Uh, did it wasn't as good as it could have been. Yeah, there was some. Yeah, I think Clark Wolf got to got to some tough questions there. That is up, movie trivia showdown fans, and the fight here. But I'm all, but I'm also happy for you. Yo, Lee, yo, Lee. How much do you bet that Roka will interrupt this interview? Clark, it was, a, it was a battle well fought. Thank you. Yes, I don't think I've ever seen the audience uh, so united in their love of both competitors today. How do you feel about the match? Look, I feel so happy that Riley... Oh, hey, guys. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, yeah, I feel oh, good about off. everything that happened. And, um, well, no. <laughs> because I lost, uh, which I, you know, which is never fun. However, there is no better way to lose than to somebody who has held the belt uh, for a very long time. Yeah, I will, I will actually get awesome, get and uh, you know, I, I'm disappointed in it, it myself looks good with it. for uh, the UPS FedEx, FedEx. Uh, yeah, that was uh, the... little snafu. And there was something Snaf- in my head that was saying something about brown M and M's. I and and so I'm a little bummed out about that, but. Aside from those two, what can you do? You know, and props to you, Clark Wolf, because every time you get a category that you're maybe not so confident in, you manage to pull it out. You did pretty well in romantic comedies, all things considered. Well, I mean, yeah. I like some romantic comedies, <laughs> yeah. of course, like 13 going on 30, which is a good one. Indeed it is. Now, how do you feel about the upcoming impending Roka versus Riley match? Well, you know what they say, third time's a charm, <laughs> and I think my partner is going to take that belt back. I think that the entire it's gonna be good one. It's gonna be good. good. I hope Yodi well, thank you so much, comes Clark. out Again, fighting. Congratulations! Still one of the strongest competitors in this league, and we look forward to seeing great things from you in the future. And we are back with the right. victorious. How much do you bet Roka will come in and start mouthing off? Match today. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. I, I I never that was a hard match because I had to play Clark. But man, is she classy! I know that's her name, but she is the classiest person I've ever met. I'm so happy that it was her. She gave me her blessing. I gave her my I, it, one question. She would have been here. That's how good of a, of a competitor. But you know what? I'm here now, and I am excited. It's been about nine months since I've got a shot at this. Nine I wanted a shot. I wanted to get back. Roka's always talking about he mess, messed up Bespin, and then he, it, it dri- drove him to go get that belt. The same is happening here. I get my shot now. I can't wait. And listen, Riley. Yeah, they're still. Very impressive right? I don't think they've Eight released that John Roca. I think the third time might be the charm. Documentary yet? The opportunity to get that belt back from Roca. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's still being made. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell Here you. Here he that. comes. There, there's that shadow. Good lord. Can I just for a second? No. I'm getting a little sick and tired of your attitude the last couple of weeks. I'm the champ here. All right. You don't push me out of interviews. You don't cut off, cut me off when I'm talking, and you don't say the whole world against Roka. Because I know I want to tell you so, something about the outlaw nation. There's a lot of us out to there. To be fair, I, Roka is growing on me. He, he, he is a very... 
he is he is a very enigmatic character. Yeah. My favorite thing in the world is that you're wearing that jacket right now. That's right. I want to see how it fits, lad. They wear your little Superman jacket. How, how does it feel to be jinxed? Well, well it's not actually because I'm busted out of it. I look like Black Adam. But listen, how many times I gotta beat you, man? How many times do I have to beat you till you get it? See, what the lie they're telling you is third time's a charm. Oh no no no! I've already beaten this man three times. 2015. 2017 twice, or 2016 twice, and now in 2017, I will beat him again. It just gets old, whipping you like a dead horse. Like, it just gets old, my man. How many more times can you come and face me? Bring down your neck, Roka. I can see you're scared. Put it on your jacket here. You know what? Get the hell out of here. This is my interview, okay? You're talking to Emma Fy- Emma Fife. Yeah. You're telling you are the classless... You are the most classless champion I've ever seen. You have oh, no respect. No, JTE is You're the most classless the champion. Audience. You yell at people that aren't even, it's their first time. You know what this competition needs? It needs a freaking hero. You are a villain. You are a piece of shit. Oh! Get out. I am sick and tired of you. There is no, a champion doesn't sit here and call people out. A champion doesn't sit there and brag and say they need all the Come on, Riley. champion will step up when needed. <laughs> He's when said, yep, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> claiming there's some apocalypse that need four horsemen for a Oh, 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 hey, there we go. Get out of here. This is my interview. This is my interview. Get out. Get out. All right, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, my God. <laughs> Oh, I know it has a leafy. Is anybody else tired of it? Is anybody else tired of this? I mean, I am freaking sick of this stuff. Are you okay? What a Mark Ryan, of the people, the hero we all believe in. I'm certainly rooting for you, and I think. Oh my God, that was. That'll be in the promo. Yeah, I'm going for that belt. You know why? Because it looks good on me. Better than that, jerkwad. <laughs> what does this look like? This is going to be a belt. Right on here. I'm coming for it, Rorka. And you're freaking so Yodi! 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 It's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, that's how much it's going to be good. Christian and Ken, back to you. Well, no surprise there that John yeah. Roca. This is heating up nicely. Yeah, I'm, I'm that was gonna try and do thing. more of these. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying. I always enjoy this Schmoda. I'm, I'm enjoying doing these reaction videos, so I'm gonna do uh, as many as possible. Uh, I think the next one is that Power Rangers one, which is well done for them to get the Power Rangers involved in this. The actual character, the actual actors. So yeah, that that's gonna be good. Um, so comment, subscribe, like, let me know what you thought of my reaction. I get apologies. I can't get the screen grab of this because I don't have the technology because I'm uh, very poor. So I've only got a PC. I don't have a Mac, and, uh, and I film this on my tablet. So um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Yo, yo, yo.